folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up down below. So guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Guys, we're trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're just send it, guys. It's, uh, it's dumping rain today, but we're trying to do some bed fishing in today's video. I don't think anybody this year has done bed fishing. I'm lucky enough to live in Florida, even though it's raining. And today, I think it's, what was it, 62 degrees? 58, 58 degrees today which is way colder than what you normally need for bed fishing. You're looking for that 65 to 70 degree range water temps and uh, air temp is 12 degrees colder than what we're looking for. But we found some on beds a couple days ago and I'm hoping they're still there. And we saw a big one of that too. Like the biggest fish of my life, probably 10 to 12 pounds. So we're gonna see if, uh, if she's still there as well. By the time this video is over, we're getting a bite underwater on an underwater camera. We have like this 360 camera that can view all the way around. So we'll capture all the action underwater of i think the first bed fishing kind of this year on youtube and i say that i don't watch a lot of fishing youtube videos because i'm too busy going fishing and making them for you guys but i think we're the first people to do it i could be wrong though but this should be a lot of fun bed fishing is my favorite time of year to fish because you can see them and uh i'll try to teach you guys a little bit today on how i try to catch my bed fish but every bed fish is kind of different but yeah i guess we'll just go out there it's cold windy and cloudy normally you want a sunny calm day for bed fishing it's the exact opposite today but that's what should make it fun and guys 3,000 likes i'll use some of the worst lures ever to go bed fishing with like just crazy saltwater lures and all this stuff to see if we can get like underwater eats on just the dumbest lures of all time. Leave a like if you guys wanna see that. Let's go to pond number one. It might be like a pond hopping day. I don't know really uh, where we're gonna go, especially after this first spot. And it might be raining really hard over there. We'll, we'll figure it out. We're just gonna go around, try to catch some of my first betting fish of the year. Should be fun, let's go. Alrighty guys, we are here at the pond. It's, uh, it's raining. It's really overcast still on the drive here. So we got one of the bed fishing lures on. I'll show you guys real quick. You guys know, I say it all the time, this is the time of year to be throwing lizards around. When it comes to like bed fishing baits, I like something that's got like a little bit of color on it. So right here, I got the uh, the lizard with a chartreuse tail. And that's really gonna help me see when these fish pick it up. But also what I'm gonna be using today, I wish I had different colors. I wasn't really thinking ahead too much. We got some cracking craws. So bass also really don't like craws on their beds. Only problem is these are black and blue and I'd much rather have like a white or like just some crazy color that sticks out. But we'll probably use these today. And we have trench hogs. And trench hogs look a lot like lizards. And uh, this is actually the first bedding fish of the year that I caught, which was just a couple days ago, was on a trench hog. So I'll probably use these two. Once again, these are really natural colors, so they'll probably get more bites on beds, but I won't be able to see it as well. So it's kind of like a, a give and take. Like when you have the bright colors, you can see when they pick it up, so you know when to set the hook. And then when you have these colors, they'll probably bite it more because they think it's more real, matches the, the water and whatnot. But yeah, I think we're gonna start with the, the old lizard right here on a Texas rig. I got this bad boy on a four rod EWG hook, a one eighth ounce tungsten weight. A lot of times when you're bank fishing for beds, you don't really need that heavy of a tungsten weight. You just need to be sitting down there on their bed. And I got 14 pound tests on here because I like to go lighter with the line because they can see it for a longer amount of time. When bass are bedding, they're gonna look at it for a really long time. So the more natural that you can go, kind of the better. Also, it's normally good if I have like little tiny craws, the smaller the bait, the better on a bed too, because when these bass are on beds, all they're doing is they're grabbing it like this and they're moving it off. They're not trying to eat it when it's on beds. They're just trying to get whatever's on their bed off of it. So a lot of times the smaller the bait you have, if it only goes like right here, they'll pick it up, they'll have the hook in their mouth. But with the lizard, you'll run into the problem of them just grabbing this and moving it. And they'll never have the hook in their mouth and you can't catch it. But that's what we're starting with today. We might not be able to see beds now. We have spotty weather today. It might get like really sunny and we'll be able to see them and then it might dump down rain again. So we'll just kind of play by ear. Last thing you guys need, bed fishing, a pair of sunglasses. Probably more important than the rod, the reel, the lure, everything, sunglasses so you can see them. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, I'm about to put my glasses on real quick. I don't think we're gonna be able to see anything with this weather, but we might, who knows? But all of this stuff, when you're looking for beds uh, on the bank, literally all it is is a white circle. For those of you guys who are new at fishing, this is the easiest way to see it. Or if you see a bass, it's just not gonna move when you walk up to it. <laughs> and that's how you know a bass is locked on. But they like to bed around any type of structure. It could be the smallest, dumbest thing in the water. Like somebody could literally, see how there's a ton of trash out here? There could be a water bottle sitting at the bottom and they'll make a bed around it. So wherever there's structure, there should be beds. And as you guys can tell on this bank, I mean, there's just structure everywhere. We got vegetation, there's trees on the side. And I also know just in this pond, there's logs, especially in the middle too. They're probably out there bedding in the middle. Fish can really bed 
anywhere in the pond. All right, glasses time. Oh yeah, no, this is gonna be tough, man. <laughs> I can't see anything. The best time to go bed fishing would be like midday, like noon, on a sunny, calm day where you can see these beds. And right now I can't see a single thing. So I decided, you know, heck it, I took the glasses off. I'm memory fishing right now. We did, we spent two whole days not even filming videos for you guys, uh, but going around and spotting all of my ponds and lakes, trying to find the biggest bedding fish that I could so I could come catch them on video for you guys. And uh, there's a 12 pounder somewhere right here. Where is it though? I can't see it. I don't know. I hope it's still here. I didn't catch it that day. I didn't even throw a lure at it just because we didn't bring any of the cameras with us. So I'm kind of blind casting right now at some of the spots where I remember there was bedding fish. If you guys got lakes with like dirty water and you can't see fish on beds, period, it's a really good idea if you're on a, if you're on a boat or a kayak for example and you're casting towards the bank and you see like a tree or any structure a dock anything cast right on the edge of it and a lot of times that's where those beds are going to be so even if you can't see them in dirty water last year i accidentally ac not accidentally but i accidentally caught a nine and a half pounder which i'm almost positive was on a bed because of its bloody tail casting up shallow around trees and i'm almost positive it was on a bed but i never saw it i never knew it was there luckily for us though we chose some of the spots that have super clear water which is this one but i still can't see anything because of the rain we're just, gonna, we're just gonna walk around and try to catch some fish randomly on my memory of beds. And then when it gets sunny out, we're gonna drop the camera. I wanna be the first person this year to get an underwater bed fish eat on camera to bring to you guys. We're, we're gonna accomplish that today when the sun comes out. But right now I'm just I'm just fishing normally. And was, I remember exactly where they were where they were at. Like there was two of them right here. Maybe we'll just get lucky and catch one off guard. fish i can't see you so got one. Oh my gosh <laughs> yes i literally was just saying guys i knew that there was two betting fish there a couple days ago and i can't see a thing i don't even know why i'm wearing these glasses i can't see a thing boom we're probably actually about to dip from this spot and head back here later we'll fish for like another 10 minutes but um <laughs> yeah i can't see a thing so for bed fishing it's really tough to see but that was off of memory check that out that is why bed fishing is so much fun even though i didn't see this one i just knew where it was at and first cast in there on that bed this girl came and ate the lizard she did not like it we're gonna let her go guys it's important bed fishing i say it every time to get these fish back as quick as possible that way they can go back to garden their eggs and bring us bass for all the years i should have got a picture should have got an instagram picture follow me on instagram fishing norm that's epic <laughs> nobody in their right mind is bed fishing today but we got her done we caught one of them and that might have even been the male guys there's some big females in here all right i think we're gonna dip from this spot we caught one which i'm cool with i think it's gonna like clear up here in like an hour or so until that happens we're gonna go fish another pond which pond we're gonna fish i have no clue yet but just try to mix it up come back here when we can actually see them on beds and get some underwater shots for you guys but the goal today is just to catch as many fish as we can in you know the few hours that we got so let's go Dude, that day that me and Yak Pack were here though, dude, they were going crazy. Like, see that like grip over there? That's a that's a bass. You just throw your lure in and they were just on it. <laughs> oh, oh! Did you get that? Oh my gosh! Dude, my heart! That scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh. Guys, my uh my first cast got followed all the way up to the bank. And it's like one pounder just scared the heck out of me. This is uh this is good. Definitely he was not on a bed because he's not swimming back around here again. But maybe they're in pre-spawn mode. This is a bigger lake. Normally the smaller ponds they start spawning earlier than the bigger lakes. Just because it takes longer for that water to heat up. So maybe they're in pre-spawn mode here and they're feeding up for the spawn in this lake, which would be absolutely epic. Trailing way out here. It looks like there's even beds right out where I'm casting. Oh look at that. Look at that weight, guys. You see that? Wait, was that a fish? Oh, I got one. Oh! Oh my gosh, I had one. I couldn't set the hook right. I'm in a weird standing position. <laughs> Dang, guys, there we go. We had one. Right there. Oh, that was epic! I was swimming all the way and I watched him come up and eat it. <laughs> oh my gosh little squeak but he dude he came after it i started reeling in my cast to make another one i want to cast under the tunnel and boom little guy super warm actually it's kind of cold outside today but this is like the warmest fish i've caught all year it's kind of hot he might be making a bed or something right there boom 
What, what a way to kill some time while we're waiting for the sun to come out and just go fishing at some ponds. I can't wait to go bed fishing later though, but I'll probably stick around here for another 10 minutes before we go back. All right, guys, we're here at the other side. I'm gonna give her a couple casts because I do soon want to get back to the spot we started at. But you know, we're catching fish here too, having some having some boils and catching some some squeakies. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. You see that? Fish right there. No, that's gotta be a fish. It is. Oh, we got one. <laughs> Guys, I thought my lure was falling. I was like, it's falling for a little bit too long and it turns out a fish had picked it up. I don't think he's very big. Doesn't feel big unless he just starts taking off here at the bank. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Little guy. Boom. Little squeak. Hey, we'll take it though. And this is like bank fishing a lake. Like you guys can't see, but this lake goes way far around. It's always fun to come fish a lake and be successful bank fishing it. So it's fun, even if you just catch the squeaks. All right. I say since my SD card's full, we'll give it a couple more casts and we'll go back and try to catch some bedding fish. That'll be really fun. And who knows if some of these fish, I'm throwing it and just getting lucky landing on their beds because we are fishing pretty shallow uh, or if they're just pre-spawn fish because the lake's a little bit bigger. And normally it takes a few days for them to get on beds and lakes like after they start getting on beds and ponds. So fix my trench hog here, get a couple more casts in, go catch some some bedding girls get that underwater footage. All righty guys, we're here at the pond and uh, right here actually is where yesterday or day before yesterday, I don't know, we did a little bit of scouting, scouted some spots. We saw one fish on a bed right here that was probably like three and a half, four and the male looked to be like one and a half, two. So I'm gonna fish this bed for a little bit and there's a lot of other beds we found this way. The problem is they're really not locked on yet. Like we're in the extremely early stages. Dang, I only see the male on it right now, guys. But that female could really come up and out of nowhere. Guys, so we have an underwater camera on the bed so you guys can get a better understanding of exactly how this fish is behaving to my lure. And it looks like on this bed, there is only a male. And I'm dragging my lure right past that that camera right now. He's <laughs> he's saying cheese to the camera, dude. He's looking at the camera right now like it's a lure. That's crazy. But guys, this fish, I can tell, very territorial on his bed. He's locked on, which means that we even walked and put a camera on this thing and the fish did not swim away, which tells me that this fish is probably a catchable fish. So guys, when I'm bed fishing, I wanna make sure that whenever I cast, the fish is not looking towards me and that it's looking away from me. And I'm standing really far away from the bank so this fish does not see me. Oh, he's nosing it. He might've just picked it up. Oh man, I just had him. I just had them. Guys, the problem too is I wish I had some white trench hogs. I might have to check my truck. I know I got some white bandito bugs. It's hard. This blends in so well. It's so natural with the green and all the grass that it's hard for me to tell when he bites it. When you're fishing on a bed, they're not really trying to eat it. They're just trying to grab it from the end and move it off of their bed. And he definitely just grabbed it. I just couldn't see that he did grab it. He's nosing it again, I think. Oh, he got it. Got him. <laughs> yes. Guys, check that out. First bedding fish of the video right there. Probably one and a half, two pounder. We got the scale in the car, but I'm saving that for the females. This one's just a male. We saw the female a couple days ago. She was probably like four or five, like at least double the size of this. And she's not there today for some reason, but we caught the male. I'm gonna let him go back on his bed so we can protect the eggs real quick. That only took me probably five casts with a trench hog, maybe six. What an epic catch right there, guys. Underwater and everything. These glasses help out a lot too, so I can see what's going on. We're gonna walk the bank. We saw some bigger ones bedding a few days ago. We'll see if they're still there, or maybe there's some new bedders along this bank and try to get more epic underwater footage for you guys. And I'll tell you kind of what I'm doing along the way. But that one, that was an easy bedding fish, but every bedding fish is different. So we can pull up on the next one. They might not want the trench hog, but they'll eat something else. So we'll just see, let's go. All right guys, so right now we're walking the bank and this is the best way to fish when you're bed fishing, covering water, searching, there's fi searching for those fish. Even if you see like one and two pounders, you can always skip them. They're gonna still be there when you walk back. Try to find bigger fish and catch like your biggest fish of the year this season. So we're gonna keep on walking. I saw some beds this way a few days ago. We were scouting to make a ton of bed fishing videos for you guys. And we're gonna see if we can find any that we can put a camera on so we can show you guys like maybe a male and a female. So I'm gonna put these on. I look goofy with them. I lost all my good pairs of sunglasses, so I got these. Yeah, 
It's rough, I know. Oh, I got one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he snapped off. <laughs> Guys, I was trying to catch, there's literally like a four pounder on this bed, three or four. And I was trying to catch him and then all of a sudden it started getting bit and I saw the big fish. And I was like, this is definitely not the fish. Like the fish I'm trying to catch is not biting. And then we accidentally caught this dude. I'm gonna let him go over here. Alrighty, see you buddy.